what is the statute of limitations for personal injury? That's a big one. We get that one a lot. And is it the same across the board or does it depend on the injury? Yeah. So for, for personal injury claims uh, in South Carolina, your statute of limitations and this, what that means is, is how long do you have to file your lawsuit? If you wait past the statute of limitations to file your lawsuit, you're going to be barred. A defense attorney is going to bring up a motion to have your case dismissed because you waited too long to file your suit. So time is always of the essence. That's why you should hire a lawyer immediately after you're hurt. Okay. But uh, generally speaking in South Carolina, you're looking at three years. Okay. okay. Now uh, when we get into some medical malpractice or if we get into some governmental claims that gets reduced to two years. And of course we'll, when we do your intake, we'll go through your case facts and we'll let you know who the possible defendants could be because that's, who's going to, uh, you know, determine what the, the different statute of limitations would be. But generally you're talking uh, three years. Now, if you're a minor, Minors have until they're 18 plus one year to bring a claim wow. in South Carolina. So that gets extended, but do not wait. If your child's like five years old, do not wait. And they're in a car wreck. Don't wait because you're never going to get all that evidence. While you can still bring the claim, it's going to be a low ball claim. Mm -hmm. You're never going to get anything. So, uh, you know, bring it as soon as possible. And then you also have something called a statute of repose. So if there's like a doctor involved, we've got some look back periods, but that's getting more complex. Just to keep in mind, you got up to three years to file your lawsuit. And I also keep this in mind too. You know, when you hire us, we're not going to file your lawsuit on day one. Generally, you know, you got to treat, we got to figure out what kind of case you have. What, what are your damages? Right. And you got to go to the doctor. And if you have surgery, you got to go to, maybe got to go to rehab. You got to go to follow up visits and see if there's any additional treatment you may need. And you might treat for a year. Well, we'll work up the case get everything done after a year for in this example, and then we'll file your case maybe in year two. And we're still within the statute of limitations. Wow. Yeah. I just want to reinforce to definitely come early because we do get a lot of people that are outside of that statute of limitations, don't we? Yep. Or they'll wait. They'll try to handle it on their own. Mm -hmm. We see that a lot. So if you try to handle your case on your own and then you forget to do something or you're getting jerked around by the insurance company and then you, you know, you kind of let it sit on the sidelines and then life happens, right? Yeah. You got to work and you forget about it. Oh, wow. I got to file this. Uh, I got to file my lawsuit. And I mean, if you come to me, even if you have come to me three months before, I mean, I don't even have time to investigate and get my investigators involved. So I'm probably going to turn that case down, even though you're within your three years. I mean, I got to have time to investigate it internally. Mm -hmm. So we always recommend, look, if you get into an accident, call a lawyer. You know, if it's a lovely law firm, we're, we're glad to help you. But make sure you have legal representation when you're dealing with any kind of tort claim. Yeah. Good stuff. When life gets ugly, justice is lovely. The love